Hello, Cougars fans. I'm here with head women's basketball coach Mandy King after the 69 to 60 victory over Rutgers Newark. Coach, a lot of people stepped up tonight. A lot of, made a lot of shots. Pace 23 points. Demean with 18 and 14. It just seemed like a lot of things came together. Yeah, it was. Uh... Wow, I, I'm very excited for our girls. Um, you know, they've they've worked really hard all season long for a result like this, and um, I'm really just just really proud of the teamwork. Um, and you know, there was just a passion for the game and for each other, and a really um, they they really leaned on each other tonight and knew they could trust one another. Um, and I know that's that's coach speak, um, but tonight they really made all those things come true, and it. Um, you know, I, I'm just so happy for them. It, it was a really joyful, you know, locker room after the game and a well-deserved win. It seemed like I saw practice today. It seemed to be like it was a different attitude. Everybody was kind of yes. like joking, running through the plays. But it seemed yes. like, you know, Pace was willing to step up and take take shots where she never yes. did before. Yes. You know, Demean was calling for the ball, seemed to be. The, the confidence really seemed to be up in the girls. Yes, absolutely. You know, the... Um, the sense of ownership, you know, like I, you know, I've got a job to do and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability for the person next to me. Um, and I'm going to do it without hesitation. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to make the right basketball play over and over again. And, you know, I, I was really proud of Pace because, you know, um, I think, uh, you know, you know, she, she's someone that can put a lot of pressure on herself. And today I think she just did whatever the game needed her to do, whatever her teammates needed her to do, and, and boy, we really followed her lead, you know. And it was really nice to get Demean going with it. I mean, she's a double-double machine. And so tonight to see her, um, you know, to see us play through her, um, I thought was um, a big step in the right direction for Kane basketball. And, and then just, again, the just all the smiles on the floor, in, in, you know, in the locker room after the game, in the locker room at halftime. You know, and then even when, you know, Newark made a great run, you know, we were, um, you know, through that adversity, you know, they were able to keep, we were able to keep our composure and then just, again, lean into one another and solve the problem and just get it done. Now, Emily, Emily Dominguez, 33 minutes, six points, three yes. rebounds. You know, talk about her play and what yeah. she means. I love Emily. Um, you know, we, she is from the same high school as Danielle, and we, you know, she's always been called, you know, uh, little Danielle, and that, that's what they called her in high school. And um, you know, that's the thing about tonight is that, you know, she, we've seen this person in practice, you know, and you know, tonight there were opportunities for minutes and games, and so now, um, you know, she she's been ready for a while, and um, you know, I was just really happy to see her step up when her number was called, and um, you're gonna see her with that type of production and those type of minutes, you know, moving forward. So it's it's really exciting, and um, again, just such a good kid that's cut out of the same cloth as as um, as Danielle, and um, you know, we're really really excited to see her have the success, and and it, it was a big part of why we were successful tonight too. Back on the road, up yep. in Mawa against Ramapo this Saturday. Yes. Um, what will it take to get that second victory in a row? Yeah, um, uh, more of the same. You know, uh, we've got to be, uh, we've got to win the glass again, just like we did tonight. I don't. I, that's probably one of the first times all year we've uh, out rebounded. Um, you know, we've got to continue to have our assists in double digits. We had 18 assists tonight. You know, so we've got to continue to be ball movers. Um, we did a great job from the free throw line. Um, that's going to continue, and we sh I think that was probably our highest percentage shooting all year long. So, you know, those things all have to continue, and, um, you know, I think we've got to clean some things up in our offensive execution, but tonight you could actually see them putting it together, you know, from one possession to the next, you know. Um, and then I loved our defensive effort. I thought, you know, especially in that third quarter, we were able to force some turnovers and stretch the lead. Um, you know, I thought that was really a dagger that Newark really had a hard time overcoming. So, you know, more of the things that we've wanted to be, but now really making it come true. You know, like we said, you know, ball movers, two-way players, you know, scoring off of our defense, being really passionate on the glass and just passionate about each other. And I think everything will fall into place. All right, thank you, Coach. That is head women's basketball coach Mandy King after the 69-60 to victory over Rutgers-Newark.